Hi, this is Bill for SparkyChannel.com. A lot of people have bath fans with built-in lights but are unable to independently control the light and the bath fan. When they flip on their switch, both the bath fan's light and the bath fan turn on and when the switch is flipped off, they both turn off. Today, I'll show you how to control your bath fan and the bath fan light independently with independent switches. For my display, I have a very popular Brone bath fan with integrated light and just to the right of it I have a switch. Of course in a real situation the bath fan would be installed in the rafters of the bathroom and the switch will be close to the bathroom door but having the switch and the fan next to each other on my display will make it easier to show how the wiring is done. So what we have here is when you turn on the light and fan combination the light comes on automatically and the fan comes on automatically. The air and moisture are sucked through these grills right here on the side of the light and it comes out here in this port and this port is connected to a flexible vent line that eventually comes out through your roof so that you're properly venting your bathroom. So what I want to do is show you how to put this light and this fan on separate switches. The first thing we're going to need to do is be sure that all the electricity is off. This is my fluke voltage detector and right now the electricity is on. This is the power cable coming into the system right here and you see when I put the tester on the cable it shows that it is hot. However, when you put it on the switched cable up here it's only hot when the switch is on. Okay, I've just turned off the circuit breaker. The light doesn't go on anymore. And we're going to do our check with the fluke voltage detector. And you see that the, the electricity is now off. First thing we're going to do is remove the faceplate. Now that we, we're sure that the electricity is off. So now we'll remove the single pole switch. So what we have here is a standard single pole switch. We have one, two bronze terminals and one grounding terminal. So this is a standard single pole switch. You see, we have the, the power wire, we call that the common wire, coming up here. And that it goes to one of the bronze terminals. And then we have a wire here going to the light and fan combination. So this wire, when the electricity is on, this wire is hot all the time and this wire is only hot when the switch is on. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the switch hot wire that goes to the light. I'm going to disconnect the wire that's hot all the time and I'm going to disconnect the ground wire. So these are all the grounds right here. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect them. This is a Wego lever nut. You just pull up the levers and the wires come right out. This is a 12 2 width ground cable and it goes to the light fan combination. If you want to be able to control the light and the fan separately, you need a 12 3 width ground. So this cable is insufficient to independently control the light and the fan. So what we're going to need to do in this situation, this is a pretty common situation where you'll find just a standard 12 tooth ground coming from your appliance. We're going to need to change out this cable to a 12 3 with ground. That would be three conductors, a, a red, a black, a white, and a ground. So we're going to um, take this one out and replace it. That's our next step. I've leaned the fan forward somewhat so that you can see where the wires are hooked up on the fan. I'm going to go ahead and loosen up and I'm going to loosen the little screw that holds the cover on the uh, connection area. And this is where the ground is hooked up. There's a, a green terminal uh, hooked up to the metal of the box itself. So that's the first thing I'm going to do is take that off. 
So the ground wire is off. Let me pull the wires out here. Next we're going to disconnect the neutral wires, the white neutral wires. We have a white neutral wire going to the light. We have a white neutral wire going to the fan. We have a white neutral wire coming in from the switch. So this is a wiggle lever nut and they're very easy to work with. You just flip up the three levers and pull it right off. There you go. And now we have the black switched wire that comes in to the fan box. This is hot only when the switch is on. And then we have the blue wire which goes to the light and we have the black wire that goes to the fan. So we just flip up all three of the connectors and they just come right off. Okay, so we've taken the the 12-2 with ground cable out of the box. Now I'm going to take the 12-2 with ground cable out of the switch box. Now I've prepared a 12-3 with ground cable. This means that there's three conductors in this cable. We have the black and the red hot conductors. They will be acting as the switch wires. They'll, they will be hot when the switch tells them to be hot. And we have the white neutral conductor and we have the bare copper ground. We're going to make all the connections in the box that is provided in the fan housing. So we're going to put our cable right through here like that. You just leave just a little bit of yellow protruding. And we're going to tighten up the conduit connector. The first thing we're going to do is connect the fair ground wire to the grounding terminal. So go around the terminal in a clockwise manner, crimp it, and tighten it down. Next we're going to get all the neutrals together. Uh, this, one of these neutrals goes to the light and one of them goes to the fan and this one is the one that goes to the switch box. I'm going to use a three connector Wago lever nut. Just put the stranded wire in here. These are great, by the way. When you have a stranded and solid wire combination like this, just put it right in there because it connects both the stranded and the solid wires. So there's your neutral connections. Besides the white wire, the light fan combination also has a black wire and a blue wire. The blue wire will bring power in a switched manner to the light and the black wire will bring power in a switched manner to the fan. Now I'll hook up the blue light wire to the red switch wire. So I'll use the Wago lever nut and twist the stranded wire very well. Put it into the Wago lever nut, clamp it down, put our hot wire in and clamp it down. So now this wire is the one that goes to the fan. Once again, I'll use a two connector Wago lever nut. Clamp it down and clamp it down. So here's our connections. We have the ground wire connected to the green grounding terminal. We have all the white neutral wires connected together. We have the, the blue light wire and the red wire coming from our 12-3 with ground connected together. And we have the black and the black connected together. Now we'll push these wires into the back of the wiring area. This little knob that sticks in a little slot back here and it articulates down. And you tighten the screw back down. Now comes the really the most difficult part of the job that is running your your new cable from your fan to your switch box. In my situation it's just a matter of inches but in a real situation it's 10, 15, 20 feet and it's you know you're in the attic here and you're fishing through the wall to get to here so this this probably isn't a do-it-yourself project uh, electricians are extremely good at, at running 
wire through walls and they have a lot of tricks and so forth uh, so you might want to get some help running the wire through the walls but basically it goes like this your new cable goes into your switch box tighten up your conduit connector so now we have run a 12-3 with ground cable from the fan light combination to the switch box that means we now have separate wires to control the fan and the light and we have the neutral and the bare ground wire now I'm going to be using a Leviton double switch I'm going to put the light on the top switch and I'm going to put the fan on the bottom switch first I'm going to take care of my grounds so we have a, a ground from the power wire coming in we have a ground that bonds the metal box to the grounding system of the house and we have a ground from the 12 free with ground cable that we just brought in I'll cut that approximately even and I'll use a, a five connector wiggle lever nut I'll put a ground in here close it down a ground in there close it down a ground in here close it down and here's a, a grounding pigtail that will go to the switch itself put that in there and close it down we'll put the grounds back in the back of the box so now that's ready now I'm going to get the neutrals together on the switch there is no place for the neutrals but since 2011 it is code that every switch box must be provided with a neutral going to use a two connector wiggle lever nut put that on there put that in there and then this goes in to the back of the box to wire the switch itself first we're going to be connecting the ground wire it goes around the green terminal in a clockwise manner and tighten it down on a double switch you have a side that has two black screws and they're connected by a tab right here and they both say common 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 okay this is your power side now we have one power wire we have one circuit coming into this switch box so I only need to uh, put this power wire to one of these black common terminals so I just take just take this and put it around the terminal in a clockwise manner I'll crimp it and I'll tighten it down securely <clears throat> okay so we now have power to the switch okay on the opposite side we have two bronze terminals our switch is going to be like this so the top switch is going to be the light which is the red wire the bottom switch is going to be the fan which is the black wire so these are labeled A1 and B1 so we're going to put our uh, light to A1 we'll put it around the terminal in a clockwise manner crimp it and tighten it down securely okay this is the wire that goes to the fan so it goes around B1 all right so let's go over this real quickly we got the the ground going to the green terminal we have the wire that comes in from the power going to the black common terminal this black common terminal is connected with this tab with this other black common terminal so it powers both sides it doesn't matter which side I would have hooked this to it would still power both sides because this and this are connected by this bronze tab if I wanted to run these two switches on two separate circuits I would break this tab and put the wire from one circuit here and the hot wire from the other circuit here but 
these are both on the same circuit so we leave the tab and you just put the black wire to one of the two black common terminals on the other side we have the red wire that goes to the light on the upper bronze terminal and the black wire that goes to the fan on the lower bronze terminal now I'm going to take some black electrician's tape and make a couple wraps around the device for safety. Now dress the wires, put the switch in the switch box and tighten it down. Now I'll install the screwless wall plate. You just screw on the backing plate, then snap the wall plate into place. Now I have turned the circuit breaker on and let's see what happens. This should be the light right here. Yes it is. So we turn on the light and you see that the fan is not going. And we can turn the light off and turn the fan on. You see the fan blowing the feathers there. That shows you that the fan is going without the light on. Now if you want them on both at the same time, there you go. You got the fan and the light. You want them both off at the same time. So now if you want to just wash your hands, just go and just turn on the light. If you uh, really need to, to run just the fan, run just the fan. There you go. So that's how you do it. And now let's meet the stars of the show, all of which you can find links for in my video description. The Fluke 1AC voltage detector, Wago lever nuts in the 2, 3, and 5 conductor sizes, as well as the variety pack that has all three sizes. Klein ergonomic wire strippers, Klein long nose pliers, the Milwaukee three piece 1000 volt insulated screwdriver set, which includes the number one ECX driver, which fits the Leviton terminals perfectly. Leviton screwless wall plates, ideal grounding pigtails, the Sperry Stop Shock receptacle tester with ground analyzer, the Brone combination bath fan and light, Leviton single pole duplex switch, and the Leviton Decora Plus rocker switch. Thank you. I hope this video was helpful.